Okay guys, um, I'm going to do the preprocessor task. It's, it's just two minutes to the first deadline. I love doing um, these tasks like the second deadline. Anyway, so make sure you go through this resource. The preprocessing stage as you can see from the name preprocessing. So before um, compilation is done, it's like a pre um, to put compilation. It's going to process your files in preparation for compilation right so that's basically what preprocessing is and in that stage is where all your comments are being removed because the comments are not part of the file to be executed and we have some other things that have been done in preprocessing which is um, including those um, libraries that you imputed on the top of your 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 file and so on and so forth so with this task we'll just tackle it and then we'll explain how this um, code works right so the first one is okay it's just one minute anyway so let's go into uh, sandbox okay it's loading so copy this um, guy To create our directory, so cd into a let low level, and then do ls. We have all the other tags, so we'll make directory and paste this guy, right? And then we'll move into the directory. So the first thing you want to do is create your readme. So vi our readme dot md. Okay, so we are readme.md. So let me just paste this guy here for now. You can add some other things to it um, about your file. Okay, I just don't want it to be empty. And then let me just play my screen and list. Okay, so I have my readme now and it's six already. Alright, so the first thing we have to do is you see, we should create an header file that defines a macro with the size, with the name, size, right, as an abbreviation for the token. So, the thing is, you want to use this token in your program one or two for, but you want to um, to be using size instead of writing one or two for. Sometimes you may have some complicated numbers like one zero point one seven. 34 5 like that and then instead of just um, cramming the number or writing it down somewhere you can just define it in one header file okay and then when you call that name it's going to replace it so it's going to replace it for you all right so that's what basically you're gonna do here all right so um, the preprocessor helps you do this so the first thing we'll do is um, we are giving the file name, right? So this will be your header file name .h as you can see. Alright, it's ending with dot h. So we'll just vi into it. Right? Good. Okay, so remember header file. You say if not defined. That is if this file is not already existing, use this file okay so we want to give it a name so for now we'll call it macro header file okay because i'm trying to create a macro macro is the one is um the concept of swapping a a, a name for a for something else okay all right so if it is not defined you should define this sorry Define this macro h right good. So the next thing I want to do is do my um, Betty commenting as well. So I'm not sure if this is necessary, but just to be on the safer side, right? So the um, right standard is you write your file, okay, and then um, I'm trying to tell it that okay. Remember that commenting is not used in your coding like in your execution right so 
let me just paste this guy there so i'm trying to tell it that um this um all objects macro like micro file is related to this um at a macro each header for that i'm creating remember that this is the file name okay i'm just trying to say that okay this guy is for this guy all right and then the next thing is if you have some parameters you impute them here as you do in your normal c um programming um documentation so the next thing we do is our description let me just do it this way okay so our description and uh, it's just another file okay so it's just another file and then i can end it here so remember that it's going to end with an end if okay so it's going to end with an end if so what do we want to do in particular majorly some people would still come here and um and still do this and this is just to tell it but since we have this guy here we don't really need this right so basically some people still do this and this is just to tell you that okay um this end if is for this particular file you get so you can do this you can remove it so whatever works best for you all right so it's just to um identify more so let's now define what we are, we are to do so we we can just come and say okay i want to define something all right and what is it size size most times they use capital letter for all these things and as you can see here let's give you capital letter just to show that they are special it gets because in your code when you just write normal size it feels it looks as if um it is part of probably a a uh, variable that you are using okay so when it is capital letter it looks different and then you definitely would suggest okay probably it's a macro or something like that all right so we have to give it i think 1024 1024 all right so we escape all right so it says that we should page up all right so this guy should be 1024 in the sense that when you have when i test it now i'm testing it okay let me let me test it so as you can see in our zero main dot c we have they've included this guy right they've included it so written it so we'll create a zero main dot c and we'll include it so we'll vi zero main dot c and then we'll, we'll paste this guy there so remember i don't want to push it to git up so git ignore so here and i'm saying you should not push every dot everything that i end with dots main dot c okay all right so what i'm going to do now is probably run it so let me just explain what they did here so what they said is okay they created a an integer s and then um a variable s right which is an int and they store 98 plus size as you can see it's in capital letter then you know that okay it's something and you remember that you've replaced this guy with 1024 right so if you add 98 plus 1024 so s will be holding that value so 98 plus 1024 should give you 112 okay so when they printed it out and then they said i want to print what is in s and then it's going to give you 122 right so that's basically it and um let's let's compile and see um should we have a main.h no i'm not sure sure that so we have our output should be a so let's come here all right so we have it so our output is a and as you can see one one two two so we are good so let me just add because i don't want to push a as well right so let me just vi dot git ignore and then i will add my a to it 
all right good so let us clear an ls all right so if i push it now i'm not going to push this guy i'm not going to push this guy so let's get add everything Git commits so what should we call the commit message um, the macro definition that replaces size with one or two form it push so we can add origin okay I think my password has expired so I have to I have to update it so clear sorry 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 clear ls so to update it I will just do ls dash a no 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 is this where I want to go into No, no, no. I'm not going here. No, 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 no. Um, CD dot. Oh, uh, no. Actually, I wanted to do something, but let me go back. So, I want to update the token in a, another way. Ls, sorry, clear. Cd forward. Ls dash a. All right. Cd. Dot git. Yes, this is where I want to go to. Ls, all right. So I want to go to it to my config. Here I config. Okay. So this is how you do it. You just replace this guy with your new token. Okay. So um, I'll just come to. I think I have the new token already. Um, it's clone. I think I have it. All right. So this it. So I created that one July 7. Alright, so I'm just going to change it, you know, for security reason, you don't want to share your token out to people. Alright, so after this video, I would have probably changed it as fast as I can. So let me just share the tips with you. I should have probably cut out this part, right? Oh. So I'll just replace this guy. Okay, and then paste this guy. Right. Good. So um, where are we going now? CD dot dot and um oxcd 0 d so ls right so let me try git push so we've pushed you know i've committed before so that's why i just try git push you get so and then um let's go to our code and check all right, so this is actually second deadline already, 12 minutes late. <laughs> so um, what I would encourage you is don't stress yourself too much. Take your time to read and don't be concerned about deadline. It's for you to understand the concept. It's for you to know how to use it. You don't really need this certificate to me. You don't. You need the experience, the knowledge 
for you to be able to um, walk. I know so many people that can code without using their certificate to do anything. If you have certificate and you have nothing upstairs, I don't think it's uh, useful. Let me reload this page and see. Probably that's what's causing the delay. Because it's already past six. And sometimes, this time around, um, the checker is still malfunctioning because it's trying to mark up people's project and all those stuff so just not to waste time we'll head on to the next task and hopefully before we are done the checker would have checked everything all right so the next thing we want to do is almost what we did but this time around we are giving the pie to this guy right so it's as very simple as that right so um the name of the file will now be uh, one pi each right so i'll copy this guy so i'll say um let me see so i'll ls right so I'll vi this guy so i also uh, if not defined let's call it macro underscore h as well and then we should define we should define it define macro underscore h right so we can also document right and then we call it what's the name of that file one pi right so this will be the file right and then end come to the next line do we have any input no and then we'll give this guy the uh description description and we just say that it's another file we end it like that since we don't have anything and then we we'll define that should be calculator right pi and then what's the what's the stuff okay so it has marked us and we are good so what's the stuff for this guy this guy so I'll copy this guy and I would paste it here all right so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'll end it right so let me just give it space and end if defined right so if that has been defined you should end it remember I said you can still add extra comments here but because I have the description here already so I don't need to all right so I can just escape and this all right so we can test if our pie is working and they tested it using this Windows H and then they do they did uh, a should be pi r r and r is 90 so it will be pi times 90 times 98 which should be okay they said the answer should be in th um three significant figure i guess or what's this guy called um he's just trying to you say significant figure they call this guy all right so those numbers right it should be three because you know um a float will give you up to probably six, right? So they just reduced it to three, and then um, since a will be holding this value, so if you do the math yourself, you should get this value, right? So this program will help us test it, and it's uh, one main dot c, and as you can see, they included it twice in case one doesn't see it, the other one says anyway, once is enough. But I'm just being, I'm just joking. 1 main dot c okay so vi uh, 1 main dot c and then we'll paste this guy into it and then escape and then wq all right so we then compile the stuff and what is our what is going to be our, okay it is b so our output is at is called b so i will put that in my git it now because i don't want to push that as well so let me just put, put it now 
and then I'll just say um, I want to ignore the file. Oh, sorry. I want to ignore the file P. P. All right. Good. So uh, I want to create my. Okay, I want to compile, right? Okay. So let's try B. And then I think we are good, right? So we can then git add git commit and then I'll say uh, a pre processor definition macro that replaces pi I don't know, it's not three point something, right? So I think that's okay. And then let's push it. Let me just add my origin to it. Alright, so clear. And what do we want to do? We want to test. So let's come down and test it. So I think this task is one of the most simple task right so far so we'll just wait for this guy to and then just to come back and check it let's go to the next one so this one says write a program that prints the name of the file it was compiled from okay so um, basically um, preprocessor uh, or macros they come with a predefined um, functions right so the file underscore double underscore file double underscore um, would if you print it out it will tell you um, the um, file in which that stuff is coming out from so we'll just take a look at it and then see it all right and okay all right so if you look at this guy they didn't give us our two main dot c okay so why because we are um so we'll be creating a main dot c i guess two main dot c and then uh we'll, we'll compile it and check so two main dot c that's it and then so we are using standard library here because we just want to print out something out. So we are just going to use printf to print out something. It's nothing as hard as that. All right. So let me check if this guy accepted yet. Oh, still, still All right. So we just vi uh, to main dot c. All right. Then we we'll include because we want to print out only. So we include our stdio.h and we are using this um, type of tag because it's a standard library function header file. Alright, so we we'll do our documentation as usual and then um, we we'll have a main, right? But we will not have any input, right? So our main is to um, print out file. Uh, name a, a program is from let me just shut in like that the program or a file name of source code or source code so we don't have that return you should return uh, it's going to return probably at ints right okay so we just have our int main and don't forget this guy will be void because of betty all right and then okay so we'll just print f print f and then uh, this and this sorry 
So we just say you want to print out what a uh, a string. So we use percent s and then can add a new line to it. I'm not sure if we are to add new line, so I'll check to confirm. And then the next thing is we want to print out file. So it is just double underscore and then file and then double underscore. Okay. Inside this guy, as you can see, the color has changed, telling that it's a function that is already existing right on the um, library of uh, of C. Okay, so with this stuff, it's going to print out the file, right? The file name. All right, so we can then have our since we said this is going to have a return value, so we can then say it should return. Sorry, I think return is in small letter. Return. Uh, don't forget to put space in between. Return zero. It's successful. So we can compile it and see. This guy is still loading. We should load on time, please. I'm begging you. I'm begging, begging you. So we have the output to be C. Right. So we have the output to be C. So when we compile C. We have to main dot c, which is the name of the um, the name of the of the file. So here they changed the file name to this guy, right? They copied this file name rather. They didn't change. They copied it. So we have two files. So when they compile it using this file now, it will still print this second file name you get. So just trying to tell you that it's not just printing this guy. It's changing. All right. So. Let's compile it and then if we run C dot C then we'll have that. If we change that guy, um I don't want to change it because well let's just try it. Sorry, 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 sorry. Come here. Alright, good. So if we copy if we use this command, it's going to just copy and it's going to you have that copy there. So we have this guy, we have 0 to minus C. So if I try to compare it, zero to minus C, right? And I run my C. You see that it's gonna print this guy as well. So I don't want to push Oof. You know, I've, I've told my git not to push everything that end with main.c. Um, so if I push now, it's not going to appear. So I'll just vi my um, dot git now. For now. Sorry. I'll vi my dot git now. Right? So I don't want to push c, definitely. All right, so I'll just edit this guy to zero main dot c and what one main dot c for now. And zero to main dot c. So these are the files I don't want to push. For now. All right, so if I git add git commit. And then I will say print file name of source code. All right, and then we can push. Then we clear it, and we can then go check this this nigger man. All right, so that one has checked. I has checked, so we are on this one. So let's just hope it checks on time, and then on to the next one, right? Good. So we're going to the third, the fourth one, which is the number three, right? So the fourth one. I so said write a function that a function like macro. So we are writing using a macro to create like a function. Okay. So what this function does is that. Uh, write a function like macro adds x right that computes the absolute value of a number x so what this uh, function will do is 
um, when you have a negative number, it's converted to positive. When you have a positive number, it will still remain as positive, right? So if you check our mean, right? So you see that um, i is equals to they gave it a negative number, they give it a positive number, and then they multiply it by ten, and still giving you nine eight nine eight. Okay, so that's what we want to do. So it's still basically almost like the same thing we did before, but just some slight else if statements for in another form okay not the normal if else statements kind of form okay so we use the question mark and the semicolon to use for our else and if okay uh, if else and if here yeah, and if and else right something like that so when we get into it we'll, we'll dive into that all right so the name of the um, Header file for this macro is going to be this. All right, so we'll just vi the name, right? We we'll vi this thing, and then we'll go to insert mode. We'll include, sorry, would if not defined, so we can still call it. Um, this time it's going to be let's call it like macro or macro like macro like function right macro like underscore h define macro like underscore h you have to make sure that these names are uh, correlating with each other right and then um, our documentation we can do that and then it's going to be our file and what is that file name again i think i still have it in my copy i'll remove the h and then it's going to have a parameter x y okay so our x is in capital letter or small letter let me see i'm not sure if that matters but i'm just trying to be Careful. I think it's in small letter. Yeah, I think it's in small letter. Let me just leave it like this. All right. So I'll just say uh, our x should then be um, should be the input value. You can say is an int. All right. Okay, and then. Um, description I can just put it uh, in a file that um, computes right computes absolute value let's try and make sure this guy is not too long because of Betty Let's see. So we want to define that guy. And what is it called? Apps. Right? And X. Right? So apps X. So what we want to do is we say we want to replace it with what? X. Right? Okay. X if we want to know if. So the thing is. We'll do it this way if x is less than zero, all right. So that is it means that it is negative, all right. So if it is less than zero, then you should do this, okay. If then, if this guy you should do this, you should just multiply x with minus one by doing that, it will eliminate all the. My, uh, minus right because if it is it means that it is not zero it is not um a, a, a positive integer right it means it is negative whenever it is less than zero so whenever it is less than zero let us multiply it by one so what i'll do is i'll say minus one okay so that question mark is asking that um, if it is this then do this right okay so minus one times right times x okay 
all right so else it means that it is uh, so this double colon will act as our act else okay so it's a conditional statement else so else you should do this right that is what we pl just print out x okay so what we will then do is we want to put all this thing in bracket because if we just do it like this it's going to get mixed up in the sense that it's going to um, multiply if this guy contains um, for example 2 and 5 or minus 2 and 3 right it's going to um, use board mass to solve it instead of using it the way we um, tell it to so in that sense we we'll just try and put everything in um, brackets braces so that it's going to take them solve whatever is inside the bracket because bracket comes before so this guy actually um, uh, prioritize board mass so bracket comes before any other thing so it's going to prioritize brackets and then then solve whatever we give to it so this guy i'm going to put it in braces uh which other one let's put this minus one in braces to minus and do this one right so i can put this x all the x in braces so i want it to expand so the braces is like expansion so it's going to expand whatever is inside my x first and then um, do whatever we tell it to do so I think with this we should be good and then we want to end it right so let me just give space and then let's also say end if right and I think it looks good so we'll test it to see if it works um, so we have a 3 main dot C so we have all the things we need here so far so Copy V I three main three main C paste this guy there. Okay, I think we've explained what this code does, right? Alright, so we'll compile to meet all the standards. So this one is called D. Don't forget our git is now and then we'll have a, B, C, D, and then 3 main dot C. We don't want to push that. All right. Okay. So we then compile and then run our D. All right. Now it's in it. Then we clear it and then we are good, right? So we we'll get add. We we'll get commit. So what to be our message? Okay, I think this one is okay. So then go here. It's morning already. All right, and then we push this guy. Okay, so clear. Let's hope this guy. Okay, I think this guy too is done. Right, so. We are good with that so we'll check this guy as well and we'll wait for it to to finish up okay so let's hope this guy to checks oh it has checked already so the last one but not the least now i think we are good so this one too is basically simply what we've done so write a function like macro that would sum up x and y that computes i think this tax is way way cheaper to um what the resource is given uh, because i was expecting something much more uh, much more other than this because this is alx definitely but i think it's a very cheap question so a function like macro so we have some x and y that compute the sum of the number x and y okay so it's the same thing but this sum will just add it so we're just going to have this guy then have this guy up beside it adding each other it's just as simple as that okay so in the sense that it's going to collect two parameters and then when you print them out here 
is going to add them together. All right. So what we do now is we do the same thing and then what's the name of the file? Foursum.h. Then we copy this guy. All right. Then we say um, vi foursum. Sorry, I think I copied it. So foursum.h. All right. So if not defined, um, let's call it. Um, wait, let me see. With this name that I give that guy, it accepted. So this one was done. All right. Okay, let's just call it. Um, let's call it sum. Right. Define sum. Right. Then we we'll, we can just describe it here, and then um, we'll say the file that owns this guy is this guy. Right. And then uh, it's going to take a parameter x and y first int input and then we have our y which will be the second int sorry second int input and then we have our return value so I return. Sorry, thought I'm doing my the normal source code. All right. So it's, it's, I'm not sure it's going to return anything. We're supposed to have description. Description, and I'll say sum up x and y. Right, so I'll just define it here and say it is sorry, sum right to the four and sum bracket open bracket um, s and then comma y right give it space and then I'll define it here. Okay, so I want it to just do x plus y simple and then i'll come down and then i'll do so i can put the x and y here i can put them in braces as well so you can try that let me know if it works for you if it works let me know in the comment section all right and then i'll do and if okay and good so we'll test it and then so the name of the guy is do we have a main.c, 4 main.c, so we'll create this guy, 4 main.c, sorry, create this guy, 4 main.c, so vi, 4 main.c, and then we'll paste this guy, all right, so our compilation code. The output is O. Oh, why are you running E? That I think there's a mis Okay, it is E. So I was wondering if finish copying it. All right. So so let's just first be our git now. All right. So I don't want to include my formin.c. Formin.c. I can even then do all C files because I've already pushed that guy, right? So uh, and E, I guess. Okay. Then yeah, I'll compile. All right. So I have my E. One one two two. Let's try it out. Oh, Alright, good. So we can then git add and then git commit. And what will be our commit message? Comp um, add up to int. Right? And then we we'll git push it. Then we'll clear. Alright? And then um, we'll go 
check it. All right, so this will be the last one. Let me go up and see from the top if you are missing anything. All right, so um, sorry guys, I forgot to check up the quiz, and then let's just go through it. And then this one says, um, what will be the last five line of this code and as you can see this guy is ending at the pre-processing stage right okay so if it is ending at the pre-processing stage pre-processing stage would want to um, change the value of this node okay and then the value of node is just um, the void times zero right so that's why it's that and then um, look at it it has changed the value of int to char right so the um, size of char now is one so when you do size of um, of of i because int is now char it's going to be one okay so we have the next one as well which is um what is the correct way to define this sub so um, as you can see i picked this one because it's even looking at it it has the highest number of brackets i want to work with as much bracket as i want because if you do it this way, um, this guy can finish and instead of minusing this one first and multiplying with the, okay, no, this one is A, B, okay, this one is good, okay, um, okay, this one is the, wait, one, two, one, two, three, four, okay, good. All right, so this one is a b. I think they are to minus each other, right? So a b minus each other, a b minus each other. So what this guy does, why I picked this guy is because if a is containing some arbitrary probably two kind of number, it will sum up a first, sum up b first, and then minus it individually. That's why I said the other one I gave you that you should try this guy out, right? Because it's going to. Um, I think it should work, right? So try it out. Let me know in the comment section if it works. Um, I haven't still checked the last one though. So look at this file. This file would um, print it true, right? To print the is what we just used. And then we have um, one process. So these are the steps for compilation. We have the pre processing um, compilation, assembly, and linker. So I used a acronym for this guy, and it is. First, it is pre-processing and then call, C-A-L, call, like you're calling someone, okay? So we have P-call, right? So pre-compilation, uh, assembly, and linker, all right? So this one, what, looking at this, we have our buffer size to be 120 before, right? So our table size is butter, um, buff, buff size, right? So when you want to expand table size, it's going to first go to table size, see this guy want to expand this guy as well so it will say that it is one one or twenty to want to print one or twenty check it okay is it that it has been undefined okay so this one or twenty is now relevant again then it, it has been redefined to 37 so it will be 37 all right so looking at this one um so why should we use the inclusive guard okay so the inclusive guard which is the um if not defined define all those um that other file it will help you um, avoid problem of having two files of the same thing. All right. So you might you, you sh sometimes imagine that you you created a file called pi. Um, you define a pi to be three point four somewhere in one file, and then you define another pi to be two point one in another file in the same stuff, and you compile it together. You're you're gonna have problem because the compiler or the pre-processing stage will not know which one to to replace with which one okay so that's why if you've created um, um, that file before and use that inclusion it will not give you that problem to so just use the, the first one you used all right so um, the portion of the code actually using the okay this portion of the code is actually using the library sdt lib okay no this one is false and then this one it says which one would stop at pre-processing stage and like i said if you man it you see that it is dash e and then the pre-processing stage remove all comments that's true and then um, 
it generates object code no uh, it links no this code will try to allocate 120 by true because buffer is 1024 and then when you do back malloc buffer it replaces buffer with 1024 and then that's true so the be processing stage uh, generate assembly no and then none is a macro true because you can even see it from the um, one of the tags where none is being replaced with its macro um, is it will i call it elements okay so um, let's go to the last one and um, let's see okay i think we are done so um looking at it we are done all right so we are done with this guy and then um we'll go into this guy next all right so see you guys um in the next video